So before we start this reaction, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram, Melanie King Official. That'll really help me out. I had to do this before because I've been getting scolded that I don't do it. I don't know. I'm just always focused on the content. So if you guys could do that, that'd really help me out. Oh, so share it with anyone that you think needs to hear this message. All right. So here we go. Y'all get brace, brace yourself. Just, this is, this is, this is, this is a real one. It's a level to wholeness though. No, but exactly. But there's, there's, just, there's also levels to criminals, right? Of course. You got killers, you got drug dealers. They're mm -hmm. two different criminals, but they're all a criminal. No, mm -hmm. I'm the right? same. Okay. But same thing with hoes. You have hoes that are just unfaithful. You have hoes that have lack of self-confidence or had a rough story upbringing. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the, the end all be all is this person is capable of these attributes. All right. All right, because let me tell you something. I'm going to teach you something for today, for all women that's listening to me. I'm going to teach you something. You I know about hoes. Okay, I but I, like, I said, me, I know like I said before, you could, you could have sex with 100 men and you're not a hoe. What? It's your waist. Let me finish. That's how you carry finish. yourself. You could have sex with 100 men and you're not a hoe. It's how you move. <laughs> If I'm not fucking the whole hood, if I'm not having sex with the whole entire hood, I'm fucking from Queens to Brooklyn to Canarsie to I go up uptown, I go to Philly. I'm not a hoe. I'm 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 very disguised. I'm a woman. I'm not a hoe. I'm not a hoe. You're a hidden hoe. No, I'm not a hidden hoe. You're a hoe. You're somebody hoe. that's sloppy. A hoe got no, no value. A hoe will fuck your man. A hoe will fuck your grandfather. A hoe will fuck the neck. The 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 no, homies. That's a hoe. She ain't got no real value. Can I tell you? But if I'm fucking with this. You're not fucking with discipline. I am. You know what I'm fucking. With this, I don't the have to listen. Do I still know I got 10 bodies? Discipline. You're That's still a hoe. No, I'm not a hoe. Yes, you are. Not, not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. Look, I don't want to. Let, let me. Can I clarify this? Hoes are not sloppy. Hoes are sloppy. No. Some That's hoes are sloppy. No, no, no. no. Danny, some hoes are sloppy. Okay. Some hoes are neat. And that's why they are hoes. No, some hoes are neat and they're still hoes. These hoes are not hoes. You're not listening. Okay. You're not listening. Hoes are sloppy. Some hoes are neat. Okay. You can be a hoe by what you do, not about how you carry yourself. Some people give it up easily, and it's like, okay, cool. We all know she's a hoe, but I guarantee you. This. But because she gave it up easily to Ball, don't mean she gonna give it up easily to you. That's not what I'm you saying. Got it fucked what I'm, up. What I'm, that's not what I'm. You, what, you were so quick to side. Chill out. Wait, shots. Chill Come on, shots, shots, shots. Shot. Take it, shots. Okay, that was about all I could take of that conversation. Um, I feel sorry for the guy because <laughs> he's always like trying to bring practicality, insightfulness, and critical thinking into this show, Eight at the Table. But um, this woman, Danny, um, I I get in my feelings about her. I'm gonna be honest because she has given some of the most trifling, demon, demonic type of um, advice. This woman is truly lost in her thinking. Her thinking is warped, demented, and quite frankly, dangerous. Uh, so, and I'll, I'll share that she has also said that um, that a man who does not, if you're in a relationship with a woman or she's your wife and you don't let other men buy her stuff, that you are selfish. She has also said the key to find out if your man is really about you and faithful is to, before you get married, right before your wedding, cheat on him. And if he still wants to marry you after that, you got a good one, ladies. All right. So <clears throat> I don't like to use shaming language as like a hoe. I will use um, what uh, the promiscuous, a harlot, what the Bible talks about, you know. So go back, King James language. But this is what I have to say. Clearly, this woman does not know what she's talking about on any level, okay? She shouldn't even have a platform to speak other than for us to use it as an example. Actually, I take that back. I want her to speak more. I hope she gets her own channel and she's able to, to pull the, put this out there on a daily basis because it gives us a, a great example to glean from and to learn. I'm not going to discuss what makes a hoe, what doesn't make a hoe. She's saying you can have a hundred bodies and it's the way you carry yourself means that you're not a hoe. But this message is more about for women. Who are you taking advice from? 
Who are you listening to? Who are your examples? And I feel like so many women on varying degrees are listening to voices like this, especially toxic feminism that has taught you you can sleep with who you want, do who you want. You're not a hoe. That just makes you normal. Men do it. So that, that doesn't mean anything. But this is where people don't have a fundamental understanding of the biology of men and women. Scientists have proven that men and women cannot have casual sex the same way that casual sex to women greatly, okay, greatly harms us mentally and physically. Men were, are biologically designed to spread seed. We are not biologically designed to receive multiple seed over years in time in all different types of men. So regardless of the question being about what makes a hoe, it's not about being what makes a hoe. Because I think to some men, a hundred bodies is a hoe. To some men, five bodies is a hoe. It's, we don't understand. We will listen to voices or take information or advice as women from people. And we have no idea who they are, who they truly are. We don't know how they really are in relationships. You don't know how I am in relationships. You're going to have to judge and see by the things I say and do over time to see if I'm genuine or if I'm a secret 304 that's, you know, just a chameleon that's just going to do gotcha. That's smart. That's intelligent to do. But so many of us will just have this circle of sisterhood. But like, girl, you know, ho, you saw the other woman high five that. I felt like that woman was a little bit a little bit more reserved and, and maybe was open to listening. But did you see what that woman started doing? Shouting him down. No, it's not. A, and how many times do we see these in, in situations where somebody knows they have an invalid argument? They know that what they're saying is deranged, makes no common sense, is uh, destructive, uh, and that they're on demon time. But they don't have the tools and capability or the brain power. They have not been educated enough to actually espouse ideas and things in a concise and congruent way for people to understand. So they start to shout it out because they need other people to agree with the emotions of what they're feeling or what they're saying. So they can shout down the idea. They can shout down logic and reasoning and maybe things that are good principles because they don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear it and they don't want you to hear it. And clearly, this is a woman who doesn't want anybody to hear the truth, just what she's saying, just how she gets so triggered and has to scream. And her advice is, it is beyond toxic. I've just never seen anything like it. But I'm so glad that at Eight on the Table has a woman like this on there because so, t so many times women will say, well, no, all women are good. And yes, yeah, sis, and, and, and these, it's these men, it's this, that, and the other. But honestly, can anybody say, if you're honest with yourself, I mean, if you're not even a Christian, I just want you to think, you, you don't even have to be a Christian. I will say to Christians, like, you know, in your spirit, you know what the word of God says, and you know what God is saying to your heart. You know it doesn't feel right. You know what she's saying doesn't sound right. But you're going along with it because the whole sisterhood is too. And you don't want to be an outlier. You don't want to be an outcast. You don't want to be rejected. You want to be accepted. But even if you aren't a Christian, you have to have common sense to know that what this woman is talking about is an absolute Jezebel demonic type of thing to say. It, it, it just, it's just the, if you look at her body of work of everything she says on this chant, on that thing, sure, some of us can be out of pocket sometimes, one or two times, but it is a consistent thing that she's doing this. And you have women who agree with this. But see, you have this woman agreeing with this, but unless you plan to marry a woman like her, I'm talking to my ladies. Unless you plan to marry a woman like this, you need to start listening to the good men who are trying to give you advice. Like this brother on the show, he's always trying to give good advice, but they don't listen. They shout him down, talk him down, and then they're going to look up and say, well, where are all the good men? Well, look at how you treated one on the show that you wouldn't even listen to. So this is where we're going to have to dial it back and really start taking a hard look at things. And am I saying men don't give toxic advice? Do I mean there aren't toxic men on YouTube or in the world giving advice? Yes, but I'm speaking to ladies. I, I, I can't do anything about men. I am trying to be a voice to help women to see how blind some of us can be and how the, how this insidious type of behavior works where it's a group hurt mentality, something you may not even agree with, but you're afraid to say something or you don't want to ruffle feathers or she's going to shout you down and it intimidates you. Because can anyone imagine living with a woman like this, how she'll shout you down and she's got to be right, even though her ideas that she's espousing are deranged and are nonsensical? So... I
I don't know, this video, which I, 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 she got me off my square with this, but I'll be ready for the next one. This may have been a nonsensical rant, <sighs> but all right, I got to go to the gym now because I got to work this off.